this video i'm going to explain how to demonstrate the, on converting from one number type to watch the video until the end at the end of the video i will provide you the three tips regarding the conversion of number type so let's get into the video here we have to convert this given into the integer so if you print int of 3.14 that means this int function will convert the given number into the int that means your output will be like 3 and if you take this int of string 485 this is a string now we are converting this string into integer that means now the a will will contain 485 as the integer type and here also same this is the string 768 is the string you are converting this string into the integer using the int function so b will contain 768 of integer data type okay this is also int here the main theme is to convert it into the integer type and if you take c is equals to a plus b then you will get the addition of this a and b as the result in the c variable that is 1253 so when you print this c value your output will be 1253 so this is your output whenever you print the c value and next it is int of this so actually the int function will take the value as the parameter and as well as the base so this will be optional the base is optional so if you won't give any base then it will consider as a decimal if you specify the base then it will convert into the specified base value okay now here you are given the value as a string and the base is 2 now this will be so here uh, the base represents that the number system the value is currently in and this is the value so this base will represent the number system of the given value so if you take this string so this is the binary number so this represents the base of the binary number that is 2 so here the integer so this will converted into the integer that means here 2 is the base which is in which it means the value is in the binary format so this will be converted into the integer type now if you consider this so this is the binary representation so its decimal value will be 11 now if you take this so this is the string which whose base is a that is that means this is an octal number so whenever you can convert this octal number into the decimal number you will get it as 225 and same this is in the hexadecimal format so that's why we have given the base as a 16 and this is the value which represents which is in the number system of hexadecimal so after converting this into the integer you will get it as the 33 so just perform these all these uh, binary into the decimal and octal into the decimal hexadecimal into the decimal you will get manually the answers which will be equal to the these results so the base is optional if you doesn't provide any base uh, that will be considered as a de decimal so if necessary you can provide the base so if you come here this is converting to float so if you print float of 35 so it will return this actually this 35 is the int type so returning it in the float nothing but it will result as a 35.0 now converting this string 4.85 is a string converting into float which results 4.85 as the float and if you take this string as the float this will result as the 7.68 and now we are performing here i plus j that means you are adding these two values into the k and you will print the value of k so here the resulting value will be 12.53 on addition of these two numbers you will get this value when you print this k now here we have converting it into the complex okay whenever you print the complex of 35 so here we didn't provided any imaginary part that means it will be considered as this zero so you will get it as 35 plus 0 j as the output 
because you have not provided any imaginary part in the parameter so it will be considered as the zero now if you take this x complex of 4.85,1.1 so this is your real part and this is the imaginary part now this will consider it as 4.85 plus 1.1j and coming to this y also it will consider it as the like this so here you are performing the addition of x plus y so here what happens is so you will you will add the real part with real part of another number and you will add, add the imaginary parts so your output here z will store it as 12.53 plus 3.2j so whenever you print this z you will get the output as 12.53 plus 3.2j so now coming to the conversion into the bool so if you print this bool of 35 this will provide you true because for the function bool you are giving some non-zero number that's why it will return true so if you take this also 1.2 is a non-zero number so it will print true and if you take, take uh, true which is int of true this will return 1 because this two represents any non-zero number that means it will consider by default as 1 so in the form of 1 you will in the form of int you will take it as 1 if you take false int of false represents 0 by default so this is all about converting from converting one number into the another type at the beginning of the video I said that I will provide you three simple tips regarding the members so it is possible it is possible to convert it is possible to convert uh, binary octal string or you can take hexadecimal equivalent to decimal number but you cannot do this for float once again i'll say it is possible to convert a binary number that is binary binary number string or octal number string or hexadecimal string to decimal integer but it cannot be done for the float and the next one is while converting into complex if you have only one argument then the other will be considered as the zero that means the imaginary part will be by default considered as the zero that's why in the before example if you haven't if you have observed that the parameter only given as the argument 35 so we have taken it as 35 plus 0 z because here 0 0 is the imaginary part and another tip regarding the bool is any non-zero number can be considered any non-zero number is treated as true zero is treated as false so this is the tip regarding the bool data type boolean data type and this is regarding the complex and this is regarding the float which is not applicable for the conversion of binary and octal and hexadecimal numeric strings